Hey guys, it's Josie. Uh, again, sorry about the audio on the last episode. I thought I had it fixed, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> Rest assured, it is all fixed now. I promise. I swear. <laughs> um, today's episode, we should be finding another friend. And if I believe, if I'm correct, we should be finding, um... We should be entering Moria. A little bit of an update on my tongue ring. The lisp is all but all but gone. Um, it doesn't hurt very much anymore. Um, I can kind of eat solid food now. <laughs> Kind of. I'm still learning how to eat with it and all that. Ooh, here we go. Let's see here. I did a little bit of grinding in between episodes, guys, so I could have some more abilities and all that. Just a bit. <laughs> Probably about an hour's worth. show you guys what perfect mode looks like this episode as well. Ooh, cutscene. What are you doing? You want to be sure they're good and dead. Some are mighty hard to kill. Some are mighty hard Not to kill. Not even these sacred places are safe. How do I know I can trust this one? I vouch for him. In the name of the Lady of the Galadrum. That is good enough for me. That's good enough for me. How do I know me? I can trust you? <laughs> Where did you get those wounds? I love Elagost. At the hands of a Mordor orc, whose life I intend to shorten considerably. In the pass of Kahadras, we were attacked by goblins. We slew all but the orc, who escaped with something of great value to me. Who is this wee ranger? I was in the company of a dwarf. A friend, actually. And what did this orc take from you? You help me slay him, and you shall find out. You I wish we could from use... The north are full of riddles. I wish we could use Elagos sword. You must help me return to at some point during battle. It would be nice. Granted, I get it. I get it. We have a sword user. We have Barathor. We should find one of the enemy's altars. After what I did to him, that orc would be in need of healing himself. But, uh, I think it might be interesting. Alright. Again, I'm gonna keep going ahead with the found a place where the ancient spirits cut the movie cutscenes until y'all tell me not to. This world may still be no, it makes my episodes drag out more. Glide through the airs around you but uh I think eyes. they're I feel like they're worth it. Mighty forces also stir the deep can still be called upon in times of great need. Yes. Can't wait until I have that ability. Powers of fire and light bring life to this realm and are held by the wise as the most potent and dangerous forces. Oof. Not looking forward to that fight. Oof. The great spirits of the earth yet animate the living wood of this world, for it too breathes the mystery of life. Elves are the keepers of this wisdom, yes. and guardians of this ancient force. Make no mistake about it. Bound within their craft, their weapons, and their very being is some small measure of the gods, a living gift that has endured through many ages. Yeah. 
find it and use it wisely, for it contains power beyond measure. All right. Let's go ahead and pick up this elf stone. We're gonna go ahead and give the elf stone to hmm, probably Eligost, since he seems to have the more costly abilities. So there's four of them, okay, okay. So that's everything down here. Let's see what else I got to do. Um, where do I go? Oh, down here, okay. Hmm. Oh, I feel a cutscene coming up. So tell us, Rain. Yep. Cut what scene. happened back there in the pass? It was a bewitched fight. Voices echoing down from the mountains. Then lightning struck all around us. The dwarf fought like one possessed, but a landslide carried him away. Oh, that's Before why he fell, he gave me a map. You shouldn't go to Presented to him by Elrond of Rivendell. Of as a gift of friendship. But I could not withstand the dark powers that ruled the mountain that night. While I lay there burning, that Mordor orc ripped the map away and mm. fled down the mountain. That Mordor orc. That map revealed the location. Of the secret entrance to a forgotten realm. Moria. Yes. The greatest city of the dwarves, whose location was lost during the Great Wars. And whose halls are rumored to still be stalked by a terrible monster. Oof. And what of the dwarf? If that Again, map leads us to Moria's not looking gate, forward to that fight. I expect we shall find him nearby. But it's always hard. It would take more than a few goblins to stop that dwarf. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm pretty sure we find him soon. I will lay open to you Moria's secrets, Moria's and secrets. they are many. Khazadum, the greatest of dwarven halls, lies along an old elven road that carried trade between Holin and Moria. At the walls of Moria, invisible dwarf doors bar western entry. Even their own creators cannot find them if their secret is forgotten. Mm -hmm. But should the gates be mastered, long the mazes of halls and tunnels within the mountain are vast. And the four-day journey to the other gate will not be an easy one, should foul creatures still prowl those halls. If I were you, I would track our party and follow behind. Should we master the gates of Moria? Okay. Let's see what else we got around here. Just the treasure chest. And the fire I probably shouldn't be standing in. <laughs> okay. Let's make our way out of here. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Oh. Okay. That was confusing. Okay. I guess I sh up to this point I shouldn't have really learned a whole lot of new skills. grinding. <laughs> hey, it's the trolls. Ooh, hello. Mm, 
Okay, that's it. Wanted to make sure it didn't miss something before. We're going this way, right, guys? Hmm. Very confused on which way to go here. <laughs> Hello. Oh god. I hate these altered viewpoint parts. Oh. Thrust right into a fight. Uh, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'm a little bit over leveled. <laughs> Just a little bit of a level. Nice. Getting all kinds of stuff for Barathor today. Got another elf stone. We're also gonna give that one to Elagost because he has the lowest health of three. Okay, well, let's go back down. <clears throat> See where I'm supposed to go after this. I'm not here. Or is it here? It's a treasure chest. One thing that this game is missing that I really wish it had was some sort of shop. It would be very helpful. Whoa. Sorry about that, guys. I had something to take care of. Oh, I've been up here already. Okay. Well, where am I supposed to go? Okay. So... This just leads around. Okay, that's real confusing. So I guess we're just gonna go this way. We're going the right way. We're going the right way, guys. Quick save, real quick. Pick up some chests. Ooh, okay. Elagos, right? Yeah. Another chest. I hope I didn't miss anything back there. I feel my OCD is telling me that I did, but I'm not sure. I feel like I'm, I really feel like I'm missing something, guys. There's one more. Okay, got another battle coming. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Well, now is the perfect time to show you guys the perfect mode. Arrow volley. I love it. Another thing. Idriol. Cool. Okay. 
Okay, entry all equipment. So now we're all decked out in gold. Another artifact. I really feel like we missed one back there, guys. I really feel like we did. I'm gonna save that one. Let me know down in the comments if I missed something, guys. I really feel like I missed one. Like, for real. For real. Really feel like I missed one. Like, I'm probably gonna have to go back and look off screen and look for this other elf thing. There's that treasure chest from the first episode we couldn't get. Oh, here comes another battle. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna show you guys this one. Citadel Rage. Double hit. Oh. Didn't kill it. Okay. Nice dodge. Okay, this should take care of the uh, ward. Yep. She looks so cool now. <laughs> well, we got some level up points. Let's go with speed. We're also going to go with dexterity. I mean, constitution. Give me a little bit more health with him. This is gonna bug me so much. What's up here, guys? Some treasure chests. Oh, okay. Down to the battle, okay. Really, two shouldn't be anything. Let's just uh, counter attack now.
Um, why wouldn't they give me a weaker one? If you guys remember if that's got like some special properties or whatever, let me know down in the comments. Um, I, for the life of me, don't remember anything like that. So, for now, we're just gonna leave it off of her. Another item. Oh, okay. It's not even going to let me go. This episode is going to run a tad long, guys. I apologize. Yeah, this episode is probably going to be like 30 minutes or so long, Even depending on whether or not we service. actually fight the Watcher. I escaped his trap at Orthanc, and now he seeks to hunt me down ere I finish my task. Understand that a great eye watches all in the darkness, building in power as it prepares to destroy this world. As I speak within your mind, Saruman rallies the wild men to his cause. Mm. They will pour forth here and in Rohan, burning as they go. You've already seen I that. suggest you find the dwarf quickly. Episode before one. Saruman wins his war in this land. Okay, yeah, that's... Oh, now we all decked out in gold. Where's Nancy? We're gonna leave that one off that for right now as well. For the sake of time. Sure I didn't miss any treasure chests. Okay, we're good. Got that map now. Now we can go back and go to that place we wouldn't let us go to for. Okay. Let's go. Okay. 
This should be fun. Alright guys, you ready to meet our new companion? Ah, fresh tracks. The dwarf came this way. He is heavy for one so small. <laughs> I'd be careful not to say that around him. <laughs> Quiet! Both of you. I hear something. Well, Ranger, it's about time! Ooh. Ooh. Okay. It is. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Just about dead. Ooh. This should do it. Not quite. Okay. Just about. Not quite though. Ooh. the dwarf. Oh, it's X. This dwarf who joins our camp heralds from a people who hold themselves okay. apart from other races. In the interest of the not feels making y'all sit through a 40-minute video again, we're going to skip the watcher this episode, and we're going to do that I at the beginning of next episode. In my time. They appear small, but are not to be trifled with. Do remember, as you enter their ancestral home, that their pride... It's because we're running up on, like, 30 minutes now, and... This now again, I don't want to... I don't want y'all to have to sit through a really long video. Again. <laughs> it is. I don't remember how many stone 
weapons each person can have. I have to look that up. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, look at that constitution. <laughs> Okay, just about the end of the video guys, we're just going to go through and get all these treasure chests, and then we're going to go and save, and that'll be the end of it. Um, where's the way out? There it is, okay. Alright, where's that save point? It's right there, okay. Alright guys, that's the end of today's episode. Um, didn't get to Moria like I wanted to this episode, but we did get Hadhod, so that's a plus. Um, we will get to Moria next episode, I promise. Um, I have that watcher fight, and we should get a pretty decent way through the first part of Moria. But anyways, um, if you haven't already, um... Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and smash that bell notification so you can be notified on all my videos. Um, if you haven't watched any of the, uh, any either of the other videos in this series, go back and watch those because there's a lot of story involved in the game that you're going to want to watch. Um, uh, that's it. Um, until next time, guys, I'm Josie. See you guys.